Ladies, um, I'm Teresa Pepe and um, I'm doing a short little video for you guys on the face shield masks. Um, first of all, I want to thank you so much for all the comments and, and all the messages and all your, everything you, you've, you've, the feedback I'm getting back from all of you. Um, uh, I would like to thank Terry Johnson from Terry Johnson Creates. I'm a licensed instructor through her and she's a beautiful person. And thank you, Terry, for everything you've done, putting it on your blog and getting the word out. Thank you so much, and I'm so proud to be a part of you. Um, Silhouette America, thank you so much for putting the design on your store to be shared, not only in the U.S., but I've gotten some uh, texts and messages from Colombia, Venezuela, Spain, and it, it's just so overwhelming but humbling at the same time um, during this time. I hope everyone's safe. Uh, here in New York, it's pretty bad. And um, a nurse came to me, I'm sure you could read the story on my blog, uh, Terry Johnson's blog, Silhouette America, and um, was in desperate need of facial shields. She's in desperate need of masks, but I can't sew for the life of me, so I thought of a shield. And I designed a very simple shield, um, and it's just gone viral, and I'm so happy. And please, I hope you can make these for your towns, your country, your, your states. And please send pictures. I'd love to see what's going on and who's getting them. Um, a quick tutorial, very quick, just to show you how it's done. You only need three, um, three, I'm sorry, three supplies. <laughs> you need a rubber foam. I found mine at Home Depot. You can probably get it at Lowe's. You can get it at Amazon. Um... It's uh, self-stick. It is three-quarter inch wide by seven-sixteenth inch thick. Someone asked me if a little, a little wider, like one and a quarter, works. Yes, it does. Whatever you have handy, we use because it's we're in dire need, and this is any, any anything works. Um, if you have any other questions on any other type of foam, I haven't found any other type of foam. Um, if this runs out, I guess you can use craft foam in the sheets and cut them into strips and maybe put three, glue three together and put that on the shield. But right now, this is the quickest and easiest thing I found. Um, transparency film. If you know teachers, teachers have tons of these. I have just gotten today a whole bunch of, um, from my husband is a teacher at Carmel High School and they've donated so many transparencies. Thank you so much from the Carmel's Teacher Association. Just make sure the transparency is clear. Some of them are a little opaque, and I think they need clear so they can see through them better. One transparency film makes one face shield. And the last thing you need is elastic cord. I was using first this kind of elastic. I don't know what this is called. But it is like elastic you use, I don't sew, like I said. You use this for clothes, I guess, maybe corsages. Um, I ran out, and the next thing I had was this kind of cord that you use for, like, gifts. And I found it on Uline. They're out of it now. You could check and see if it's back. Amazon has it. Um, Terry has uh, Terry Johnson on her blog or has a, um, a different type of elastic that she found that's hospital grade and it's cheaper and it brings a lot and it looks pretty good. It's, so please go on her blog and you can get that, you know, what kind of elastic it is. Basically, um, the design is now in Silhouette Studio, which I'm honored and it's, it's great because we can all get it for free and that's so great of them to do that. The design number, if you're having a hard time to download, is 318208. So download the design. Um, the settings are a blade depth of 3, a force of 30, a speed of 4, and 2 passes. Now I was using two machines to cut the shields because I'm able to. I have two machines and it just goes a lot faster. If, if you have a Cameo 4, I would keep the same um, settings that I gave you, but I would make the speed instead of four, I would move it to a 10. And it takes it fine and it goes a lot quicker. If you have a Cameo 3, um, I also have a Cameo 3. I'm cutting on a four and a three. The speed, I kept it at four. I didn't put it up to 10. And um, it, it, they both cut like butter um, at that depth. 
I did two passes. If your blade is dull, my blade is dull. I had to do two passes. You might get away with one pass. So try one pass first. If not, definitely add the two passes. Um, okay, so once you get the design and you load it up and you load your transparency sheet and you cut it out, this is what you're going to get. Here's the shield. It's got two little holes on the side. I decided, I was looking at it, and I'm like, you know, if I put elastic on it, the tension, it, it might rip. These people need to wear it for a while. Um, I heard they're using these in ICU and ER. They're using them to intubate patients. It keeps the fluids away from them. They put goggles underneath. Um, they're putting face N95 masks on. If they don't have N95 masks, some of them are using uh, cloth masks made by beautiful ladies right here in, in around the area, too. They have a whole other face sewing shield, uh, not shield, sorry, face mask going crazy, and, and it's beautiful to see that too, and I'm speaking with them too. This goes over that, and it's protecting them. Um, so let me just show you how to assemble it. You get this, you need two washers, one for each side, or you could put four washers, two on each side. I only do one and one. Um, they get cut out with the face shield. It's, it's, on, it's on the design that I gave you. If this is, and it has two different holes, two settings. Uh, the holes, the small holes are for the elastic cord, and the one that says uh, for bigger holes, it's for this kind of elastic. And you know, ladies, you guys are experts, and you can even uh, ungroup it, and you can even make the washers thicker if you have even thicker elastic. Would work. You just have to make the mask holes match the holes on the washer and make it bigger and if you have a problem with that please email me send me a message and I'm glad to even uh, do that for you and do a, another design with that size uh, washer okay so basically the cord the cord I that I first got from Uline went in the holes like butter this one gives me a little bit of a problem so it's a little thick so what I do is I cut it at an angle and what you want to do well, before I put the cord through, first of all, you want to put the foam on because you want to make sure that there's some space between the goggles and another mask if they have other protective gear underneath. So that's where you get this rubber foam, and you have to cut a piece at five inches. And I believe we get about, let me ask Gino, my husband here, who's also part of this, um, how, many, how many strips do we get per bag? for the shields. How many shields? About 25 to 30. 25 to 30 shields per bag. Um, I found them at $3 at Home Depot, $3 and change. You could probably get them online. You could get them at Lowe's. I'm sure this, even if you have a local um, hardware store, if it's open, everything's closed here in New York except for Home Depot or Lowe's because they're considered essential. You might be able to get it at a local hardware store. Um, the foam strip goes in between the two holes. Um, Gino came up with a great idea, my husband. He said, when you put the foam, press in the middle, because it makes like a little, see how it kind of curls it? And then gently put it. It gives it a little curl. So when it goes on, the shield bends. Very gentle. You just put it in the middle, press, and, and the, the, the transparency lifts up a little bit, and you just slide it on. Then quickly put your cord through. Now your cord has to go, the foam goes inside. So the cord is going around your head. So the, the cord has to go from the inside out. So you put your cord through and I like to twist it a little, give it a little twist and it goes right through. And if it frays, a little bit. The metal one seems to fray a little bit. You just take your scissors. By the way, I cut the cord at 17 inches and that's more than enough to cut some off and and uh, it gives you a lot of leeway. So, okay, there you go. See, it went right through. So once you push it through, you grab one of the little washers. They're the same size as, I made them the same size as the hole on the mask. And you, you twist you put it on and you twist a little bit till the cord goes through. And this one again. Give it a little cut, snip. Give it a little angle. And it should be good now. Yep, see, went right through. 
push the washer through and tie a knot. And I tie a knot about a half inch to an inch. I give it about a half inch. This is an inch. I leave an inch because in case the, the worker, everyone has different size, shapes, heads, um, they can undo the knot and they can retie it at the tension or at the size that they need. They can make it tighter or they could even loosen it more. So that's why I don't cut the extra. I let it stick out like this. I might cut it a little bit, but I, don't, I leave at least an inch two and a half inch so that they have room the front liner or the nurse or the I had an anesthesiologist from Long Island actually ask for some of these and said he was using the same mask for a week so I, I nailed some down um, that way they can adjust it to the size that they need okay here goes the second washer so once you do one side you repeat the same thing for the next side and look how I pull it all the way through. And what I do is I just take enough to think it's about an inch. About an inch. See the little inch here? The knot is there. And then I pull back. And when you pull back, that washer goes flush against the shield. And then simply when they get it, this peels off. This is not sticky. It's just foam. It's smooth foam. But this peels off. It's a little more sanitary for them. And I let them, I don't peel it off for them. I let them peel it when they get it. But basically, um, this is what it looks like. You put it on your head. And I know I have my hair in the way, sorry. <laughs> and they're wearing goggles, and they probably have another mask here, and it protects them from fluids. So this is the facial shield I came up with. I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys are safe. Please take pictures. Please share. We're in this together, and I'd love to hear from you. And I am blessed to have you girls and gentlemen in our silhouette community and uh gino if you want to just say hi quick say hi quick hi quick <laughs> he also um helped out with this and is part of the masterminding of this okay god bless you all love you from new york